let me get one last thing where what was it like being at the Paul Woodley event um, with with Jake Paul and those guys uh, well the Paul Woodley event I'll tell you what we found out that there's a totally different platform for boxing when we went to that so you got this platform where you know they want the gloves immediately after the fight's over they're cutting the gloves off your hands they want them back right now the Paul Woodley platform it's much more laid back People are socializing more. There's not so much security. And when the fight's over, if you want 16 pair of gloves, you can go get them. They're right there. They just throw them on the ground, you know? So it's, it's, it's a totally different ship. And uh, <laughs> it's, there's a lot more money on that ship. How was that experience though? Because I imagine that you were seeing people that you might not have ever seen before. The type of fans they bring in, the type of environments maybe you were around. What was that experience? So like that that environment is obviously, you know, a mixture of boxing and MMA. And so like Nate Diaz was there with his crew and you know, they were doing their, their thing and you know, it's kind of like clicks running around and uh, you know, Woodley and his guys and Jake Paul and his robot and this it's entertainment. That, I How is the that. robot? The robot's being... awesome. <laughs> like, did totally you cool. want to get a photo with the robot when you saw it? I was recording people getting the photos of the robot, you know? so How big is it and how much like, is it like when it's in the room? It looks like that tall. <laughs> <laughs> like when you see it, you have to look at it. You because... have to. It's awesome. It's great and it moves and it's, it's, it's like real. It's crazy. And, and so, like I said, uh, that totally different atmosphere. Um, it's... It's not, you don't sense that blood, the, the death thing so much. It's more, more entertainment. Although Paul landed, you know, scored a devastating knockout that could have killed him by the way it looked. It looked like he could have been seriously hurt by the punch. Um, thank God he got up from it. Tyrone Woodley is a cool guy. He was in upstairs cutting weight with him with our guy. and he's Just a regular cat, man, you know, like, you know. Totally cool guy, you know. Jake Paul too. Like, I think Jake Paul is really good for boxing because what I love about him is he's not listening to these boxing social norms. Yeah. Which I think are kind of holding the sport back at times, and he's just coming in with a new vision and not looking at how anyone else has done things, and he's just kind of changing it up. And I think he's the biggest positive of recent to see change in the sport of boxing. He's a de and he's a and he's a decent fighter at this stage of his career. Um, He's, he's, he can spar some guys, man. I, he can I, win the cruiserweight belt. If there's no guys there, if there's. I mean, that's crazy, man. Can you imagine? Like, like a guy that didn't box just picks up boxing and wins the cruiserweight belt of the world? That's crazy. But he, the thing about him is he's dedicated to it and he loves it. And his life is, he's, he lives a boxing lifestyle. He, so, like, I mean, people should use that to motivate themselves, to better themselves. That if he can do it, then so can they, you know? Shout out BJ Flores and Jay Leon Love too, because they're being instrumental in helping him as well. Jay Leon, great guy. I talked to Jay Leon out there. He, I asked him to help me out with Aaron. He was, he was like, yeah, man, whatever he could do. I mean, he, he picked up and he picked up the phone a few days later and talked to Aaron and everything. So yeah, that was cool. You know, I um, think that often with these big fighters, they look at the big fighter, but they don't look at the team around them. And there's a lot, oftentimes a lot of people who are helping set up the environment that get that big fighter to that big moment. Kind of like Hagler, he had the the group of guys that he always had. I forget the last name, but he just had his guys. The Petronellis. The Petronellis, and yeah. they were his guys. And you, you knew. Love that. Goody. Yeah, <laughs> man, those guys were great. But they were awesome. Those are the Massachusetts guys. Yeah, but it's like, imagine if you saw Hagler and he wasn't with them, inherently you'd go, oh no, something's wrong. <laughs> you know, and it's like, I feel like Paul has one of those teams where if we see anyone leave his team, we'd be concerned because they're that close-knit. They're definitely close to him. And they're, they're looking out for his best interests. And they taught him well. 